Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video, we'll take a look at how to convert digital artwork into vector format. So this is artwork that I created in Corel Painter, and I used the brush tools to go ahead and freehand draw all of these shapes here, because a lot of the time that's easier and more intuitive than using the shape tools in Illustrator. This artwork is layered, meaning that each of these different shapes and colors are on different layers. That way I have full control over my artwork, but it also makes it much easier to convert this to vector if all the layers are separate like this. So I'm going to go ahead and save my artwork as a PSD. I want to make sure that there's no background, so I've gone ahead and turned the background off. Then I want to import my PSD into Adobe Illustrator, and we have two options, convert layers to objects or flatten layers to a single image. Let's convert layers to objects so we have each individual layer. Now you can see just like in Photoshop, I have each of those layers separate. Next, we'll want to locate the Image Trace palette, which is found under Window, and then Image Trace. I'm going to start with the background on this layer called Head Image. I'm going to select it by clicking on the little dot here in the Layers palette. And we have lots of options here under Image Trace. If we look under Preset, there's some presets. I have a few that I created custom down here. But basically what you're deciding is how many colors you want to convert this to. These are all single layers with single colors, so this should be pretty easy. I'm going to click on the advanced little flyout here, that way I get some more options. And basically what I want here are just two colors. I want black and I want the transparent background color. So I'm going to set the threshold to two, and I'm going to choose ignore white, because I want the background to be transparent, not white. We can click on preview to see a preview of what the trace is going to look like. I think that looks pretty good. So if we want to go ahead and apply that trace, we'll click on expand up here at the top. And now you can see it's converted that into a vector shape. So for example, I can select a node and I can reshape it like so. Or if I wanted to change the color of that layer to something else, I could do that very easily. Let's go ahead and continue doing that with the rest of the black layers. Now to make things quicker, I've gone ahead and saved some presets. You can do that here in the menu, save as new preset. And this is convert to black and white minus the white background. So basically the same settings that I just used. Now all I have to do is just click expand and I can really quickly go through here and convert each of these layers. Now that I've converted all my black layers, let's take a look at how to convert some of the colored layers here. I'm gonna to go to this color two image, which is all of my red colors here. I'm gonna choose another preset, which is convert to color, two colors. That looks pretty good, so I'll click on expand. Do that with the blue layer as well. The settings that are being used here are color for the mode and the palette is automatic. And ignore white is checked. I'll go ahead and expand that. Now it gets a little more tricky when we're dealing with white, because if we convert it to black and white and we ignore the white, then essentially we have nothing. It turns that white invisible. So what we have to do instead on the white layers is we have to go to edit, edit colors, invert colors. Then we want to convert it to black and white. Then we want to expand it. Then we want to go to edit, edit colors, invert colors again to turn it back to white. And now those white layers are converted to vector. So it's a few extra steps, but it's not too bad. Let's try that again. Let's select that white layer, go to edit, edit colors, invert colors. We'll trace it in black, ignoring white. We'll wanna make sure to expand that first, and then we'll go to edit, edit colors, invert it back to white. I'll do that with the final layer as well. So now I'll just go through and double check that I converted all of the layers. And it looks like I did, but there are two layers that I want to fuse together, the body and the head. Those don't need to be separate. So I'm going to hold shift and select the head after selecting the body. I'll go ahead and unite those together using the pathfinder. And we can just delete that extra layer. And now the head and the body are together. So as I mentioned before, if I wanted to change some of the colors, for example, this blue, if I wanted that to be green, I can do that very easily now that this is vector. I can also take this image and I can print it now at any size that I want. And all of these edges will remain perfectly sharp and smooth and they won't get pixelated no matter what size I print this at. It'll also work really well for printing on custom shirts and making other kinds of designs. So there you go. That's a quick tutorial on how to convert digital art into vector format. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more digital art tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.